make sure you check out my last episode after you watch this episode. I'm going to start off by taking this baking sheet that I got from Dollar Tree and using some sharp scissors, I'm just going to cut the edges off as you can see me doing here. Now be careful when you do this because it can get rather sharp once you get the edges cut. Once I have this section cut out, I'm actually going to be cutting it into a square. Now um, I'm going to cut the top portion off and the side portions off as you can see here to form um, a square. Now you can make this whatever size you would want. I didn't really measure it up. I just cut out um, a square shape. Now I'm going to take it and fold it in half like you can see here and make sure I make a crease line down the center. Then I'm going to unfold it and fold it in half uh, the opposite direction. Again, folding it in the center and making sure you can see the fold line. Once I have that done, then I'm going to take one of the corners and fold it up to that first fold line and do the same on the second. Uh, basically just folding it into an envelope shape as you can see I'm doing here and then just smoothing it out then taking the granite gray jet black and pewter gray I'm gonna first dab on a layer of the black paint using a makeup sponge and I'm just gonna dab it all over and then once I have the black paint on then we're gonna move on to using the lighter gray color same method I'm going to take it and just start dabbing it all over the envelope and these uh, paint combinations are going to give this envelope the more uh, galvanized look once I have the um, lighter gray on I'm going to take the pewter gray and I'm just going to go over the top of the other two colors and then this is where you can see it's going to start forming the um, more old rustic galvanized look now you can paint this either any way you'd like or you can just leave it the um, silver color that's completely up to you but this is what it will look like once the paints all dry and then taking the burnt umber I'm just gonna go around all the edges and this will give it um, a rust effect and once I have that all over the edges I'm just gonna dab a little bit on here and there on the rest of the envelope to give it a more used look. And this is what it'll look like once the paint is fully dry. Now using my hot glue, I'm just gonna glue the pieces together as you can see here. And just be careful when you do this because of it being tin, it does get hot whenever you use the hot glue. Um, you can also use super glue or an E6000 glue if you'd like. But I'm just going to take this greenery that I got at Walmart and just place that inside the envelope. But you can use any type of floral that you would like to fill this in and you can change it through the season. And here's your completed project costing only $1.